There are many data analysts looking to break into the world of data science. Are you one of them too? Let me tell you, you are on the right path because the demand for data scientists is rapidly growing and you will notice the demand increase by 30% going forward. There are many who have started their career as data analysts and now want to transition into data science role. They want to grow in their career, seek more technical challenges and dive deeper into machine learning. And most importantly, they are seeking high earning potential and growth. And you know what, without a doubt, I can say that you are making a smart career move, but it requires the right approach as well. So in this video, I'll guide you through the steps for breaking into data science if you are already a data analyst. I'll tell you the skills you will need, resources that can help, and strategies for landing interviews and getting job offers. So let's dive in. But before we dive into the details, ask yourself if this transition is right for you. So first of all, quickly understand the difference between a data analyst and data scientist. Data analysts help businesses make data-driven decisions. They work with structured data and use toolkits such as SQL, Excel, Tableau, and Power BI. They also use basic Python for data processing, visualization, and simple statistical analysis. They handle historical data of the business and work to answer questions like what happened and why did it happen. And data scientists, on the other hand, apply more advanced techniques to understand data in deeper ways and predict future trends. They often involve one, predictive modeling, which means forecasting what might happen. Two, machine learning, which means creating models that can learn from data. And three, automation, which means automating processes like data cleaning or decision making. Now, if you are a data analyst and want to break into data scientist role just to advance your career, you might be making a mistake because even a senior analyst can have a great business impact and earn a competitive salary. So for growth, you don't have to dive deeply into machine learning or advanced statistics because you can achieve significant growth while staying within data analyst domain as well. However, if you want to work on machine learning, are ready to face technical challenges and are comfortable with advanced mathematics and statistics, then you can very well pursue data science. Now that you are ready to take the new challenge, you should know the key skills to transition from data analyst to data scientist. So you have to develop expertise in four core areas. And the first one is mathematics and statistics. As a data analyst, you should be familiar with statistics, but data science requires more in-depth knowledge of mathematical concepts. You need to be comfortable with multivariable calculus and linear algebra. They are required to understand machine learning algorithms. Look, you don't need to be an expert in math, but you should understand the basics to understand how algorithms work. Next is probability theory. You need a strong understanding of probability, which will help you understand hypothesis testing and experimental design. Now the next core area is programming skills. As a data analyst, you must be familiar with SQL and basic Python. Now for data science, you should focus on mastering advanced Python by learning object-oriented programming, optimizing performances, etc. Next, also get comfortable with machine learning frameworks like SkyKit Learn, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. And finally, strengthen your knowledge of data structure and algorithms, which is essential for coding interviews and solving problems effectively. And the next one is machine learning and AI fundamentals. You know, machine learning is a key foundation of data science. And to get started, you should begin by mastering the core algorithms such as linear regression, logistic regression, k-means clustering, and decision tree. Next, understand about the supervised and unsupervised learning. Learn the difference between classification, regression, clustering, and dimensionality reduction. It is also essential to learn how to evaluate and validate your models to ensure they perform well. Next is deep learning concepts. 
While deep learning is not immediately crucial, gaining a basic understanding of deep learning concepts will help you in more advanced roles. And finally, get familiar with generative AI and modern AI tools to stay ahead in your field. Now coming to the fourth core area that is big data and data engineering. As a data scientist, you will have to work with large data sets and build automated pipelines. So to be ready for these tasks, start by learning the basics of cloud computing platforms like AWS, GCP and Azure. You should focus on tools like AWS S3 and SageMaker. Next, get comfortable with the data pipeline development. And for that, explore tools like Airflow to manage the workflow and automation. And you should also gain some understanding of system design principles. Now that you know that what skills to focus on, it's time to figure out how to develop these skills. There are several paths that you can take, all depends on your budget, learning style and schedule. So you can opt for self-study. If you are self-motivated and disciplined, self-study can be highly effective and cost-efficient as well. But remember, the key to success is consistency and selecting the right resources. There are many online courses that will provide you with the foundational knowledge and practical skills. Check them out and do it. You can also opt for boot camps. They offer the structured and fast-paced learning experience. They offer the added benefit of community support, which makes them an appealing choice for many. These programs can usually be completed within a few months, so they can give you a solid foundation in a short amount of time. However, not all boot camps are same, so it's important to do your research before committing. Take the time out to look for boot camps with strong reviews, knowledgeable instructors, and a solid career support system. Your adequate research will ensure the best possible learning experience and future opportunities. Now, if you are transitioning from non-technical background or looking to connect with like-minded professionals, a master degree in data science could be a great option. But this route is more time-consuming and costly as well. But don't worry, there are many online part-time programs that offer flexible and affordable programs. So find them out that suits you well. So the next one is mentorship. So you have many paths to choose from, but having a mentor can be invaluable. A mentor can help guide your learning, provide feedback and assist with career navigation. Now, where can you find your mentors? You can find mentors at your company on LinkedIn or through online community like Reddit or Discord. Now that you have developed the skills required to be a data scientist, it's time to demonstrate them to potential employers. You should consider taking on self-driven projects that simulate real world job scenarios. If you are already working as a data analyst, look for opportunities to apply data science techniques in your current role. For instance, you could automate reporting tasks using Python. You know, these hands-on experiences will help you build valuable skills. Now let's find your first data science role. When it is time to apply for jobs, make sure your resume, LinkedIn and GitHub profiles all tell a consistent story that highlights your data science expertise. Focus on showcasing your most relevant machine learning projects on GitHub with clear readmes and well-documented code. You should add visualization and results to demonstrate your impact. And don't forget, if you come across hybrid roles that combine data analysis and data science, do apply them. And also leverage your background in analytics to highlight your business acumen, communication skills, and ability to influence decisions. Many candidates with stronger technical skills may struggle with business side of data science. And this is where you can shine. So this is how you can prepare yourself to leap from data analyst to data scientist. It is indeed a challenging but rewarding journey. By acquiring the right skills, gaining hands-on experience and leveraging your existing strength, you can easily transition into the field. Whether you choose self-study, boot camps or mentorship, it depends on your situation and needs. The key is to stay persistent and remain curious in your learning journey. 
the field of data science is waiting for you thank you and see you next time